All right, so good evening to my YouTube friends and basket makers. So I just I wanted to come out again and show you guys another simple concept that you can do. Um, remember before I was showing you guys how to do the cute blow pops. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the camera this way, is to enhance your, um, your blow pops. You can be able to put them in here. Put them like in a little cute little box. These little boxes, I got these um, from um, Hobby Lobby. And they were on sale for like 59 cents. This is a cute one here. So what you want to do is just take it. And you can place it inside here. Inside of there. Okay. And if you have tape or if you have glue dots, you can use that. I'm going to show you guys how to make it look even more expensive so people can buy it. So um, with the box and all, I'm going to sell these for about maybe about 12 or maybe 15 for them. Because I'm going to wrap it very pretty and put it in a... Um, wrap it up pretty. So what we're going to do is just take a piece of tape. Place the tape in the back of there like that and then I'm going to take these three little cute flowers just make it stand out some and if you got glue dots you can stick the glue dots in there so we can have it like that okay and uh, I got a glue dot on the stick here um, and if you don't have um, straws you can use straws you can use um balloon sticks these are balloon sticks so this was a long balloon stick so what i did is i just took a piece here and with these you can make at least about you can get about two or three out of them so i'm gonna cut these so i can make up two more so these will be for my um the next ones that i make up but these are very good that you can use. Hold on. Yep, and that's how it's going to look once I put it in the box. It's a cute blow pop here. You can put them in the boxes. It just makes it look more nicer. And like I said, if you have, um, you can use straws. Love you too. You can use straws. You can use um, balloon sticks. Um, I got thin balloon sticks. These are the ones that I got from the Dollar Tree. The kind of thicker ones. These are ones also that I use also for um, for the carousels when you're making up the carousel boxes. These are very cute too. So these are some cute ones here. Okay. Um, and like I said, with the long sticks, you can make about three or four. Get three or four out of them, and you can just take them and stick them right in the middle. Normally, what I do is I just take. Um, my scissors and I poke a hole in the middle of the uh, cello wrap here and then I just take it and glue it down take a piece of glue or you can take a glue dot and stick it in there okay next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink wrap this one up too so this will be something nice too in the sense of this that you can um, that people can purchase Sit it down, and then I just take this and place it on the top here. And I'm gonna sell these for 15. I was selling them for Valentine's Day for five because it was just small little candy ones. But I'm gonna do up some really nice um, Mother Day ones, so um, those are gonna be a little bit more. Okay. Hold on the side. All right. 
So if you got ribbon, you can use ribbon on it. You can use whatever you have. You can use on there. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna use the ribbon to tie it on there. I told you to get the air out of it. I just use all uh, the invisible tape right now just to um to hold it. Uh, to get the air out of it and then just to hold it in place. And then after I shrink wrap it, I just pull the tape right off. So you can release it there. Okay. You can just make this one even more. Like I said, I sold the uh, the, uh, the little blow pops for five dollars. But um, as I'm gonna put them in these cute boxes, I'm gonna put all of them in cute boxes. I'm gonna sell them for fifteen. I'm gonna have some little stuff inside of them, um, candies. I mean, you're gonna put like some little cute little um, some nice little things inside of here, like a uh, little makeup set, stuff like that. All right, so remember to always start from the back when you're doing your shrink wrapping, especially when you have like teddy bears and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna put that over there. And you always wanna hold that part. This one is white. I'm just going to take a white bowl and place it on here. those for 15 so with the other blow pops that I do for Mother's Day instead of me leaving them out and selling them for five because on Valentine's Day all of them had sold um, I sold a lot of the smaller ones for five dollars that's how it's gonna look and I'm just gonna take one of these purple flowers and I'm gonna place it there and it's a blow pop is just inside of there and that's something nice that they can give their mother for um for Mother's Day. Hold for one second. All right. gonna look all right so these are the blow pop ones okay hold for one second 
all right you guys so I'm back on so this is how the finished product looks so this is the cute lollipops that I um, did up and then I put them in the cute little boxes you can get these boxes out of Hobby Lobby where you can make your own boxes um, and then I just put a little cute little um, flower here because this one is purple so I put the little flowers in the front of it just to give it a, a perk I know for um, Valentine's Day I sold those for five dollars but what I'm doing um, for Mother's Day is making them look more elegant looking. So I'm going to be selling them for $15 um, dollars for Mother's Day. So this one here is a cute one here. What you all think about that? Okay. And they're very simple to do. All you need is those clear cups. Um, if you have some clear um, cups, you can use those. I got a couple more, so I'm going to be making up some more. I'm able to make up two more with these here. You just need these plain container cups. And all you do is just take them, like I showed you guys before. Put the tape here, tape there, fill it up with your candy or cosmetics, whatever. Take some glue and put there. Put your stick here on the top of there. And then you just wrap it pretty with whatever cello wrap you want to use. If you want to use snowflake cello wrap, whatever type you want to use, you can. I'm using some. This one is a clear wrap one, but I've um, been using up a lot of my uh, great kind. So I'm going to get some more of these boxes, and I'm going to just take all of them, lollipops that I have, instead of leaving them separately on the table like that, I'm going to put them, decorate them up very pretty, and place them inside of um, these little cute little boxes and put a cute bow. And I'm going to sell these for $15. An inexpensive gift for Mother's Day. And then these are going to go for about $40 for those. Because I'm going to put a nice, cute, Happy Mother's Day balloon on the top. That's how that one looks. And then this is the other one that I did up. This is a cute one. I put the pool bow there. And you can see the teddy bear. You can see the teddy bear is not mushed. Because I start from the back. Every time when I work with teddy bears or work with my shrink wrap, I start from the back and then I go around very fast. Okay? So I just wanted to say hi to you guys and show you all these concepts. If you're liking this type of content, don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay? So I'll be talking with you all to the next video. Bye.